What's up everybody, Paradise Biker here and today we'll be reviewing my lovely helmet and gloves. Okay, so this is my helmet. It's a Scorpion XO R410 airline helmet. Now, this is a very cheap motorcycle helmet. Not really that cheap in terms of Jamaican dollars, but in terms of US dollars, it is very cost affordable. This helmet here cost me around $149.95 US dollars. That's about 20,000 Jamaican dollars. Now, typically in Jamaica, no one really spends that much on motorcycle gear. I mean, they buy a motorcycle gear for what, like $30, which is like 4,000 Jamaican dollars to 5,000 Jamaican dollars, and that's it. But here's my take. There's no way you can go cheap on your life. So invest in a proper helmet. One that is certified, and tested for the road. So this helmet is in the color neon, yellow, and black. So it's not a green helmet. A lot of persons have came up to me and say, yo, I like your helmet, green helmet. It's not green, it's neon yellow. It's a bit burnt out because of, you know, it being in the sun for so long. So the top is really burnt out. It's almost turning white, but the sides are still a bit yellowish okay so let's go over some of the specs of the helmet itself i'm gonna put this over here so that i can put the specs right here so this helmet is a size small cost 149.95 us dollars color neon yellow and black it also has a five-year warranty on it which is good the shape of this helmet is an intermediate oval shape so you have three different helmet shapes okay so now we hop over to revzilla.com which is my personal favorite website for buying motorcycle gear your helmet your gloves this is where i actually buy my stuff now i am not rich by any means i am definitely not rich and i don't have life easy in terms of financial in terms of money but you know once you save then you're able to you know buy anything that you want right once you save up your cash so on revzilla here um i'll show you guys the helmet shapes that i was talking about so what i did was to search on helmet random helmet scroll down here it says shape then you click on what's this it's going to load for a second and then it basically explains the three different types of helmet shapes and basically head shapes so you have your round helmet shape and there's a description right there you have your intermediate helmet shape and there's a description and then you have your long oval helmet shape for me personally i'm an intermediate um, helmet shape so whenever i'm buying helmets i look for the ones that have this sort of specification on it intermediate you know intermediate oval they call it and also they have some other information here about helmet weight so i will go ahead and uh, leave a link to this here in the description you guys can check it out the helmet weighs around 3.3 pounds it is also snell 2010 certified and dot certified as well that is dot certified a lot of the helmets that they're selling here in jamaica the cheap chinese helmets i see them with this certification on it which is dot which is which stands for department of transportation 
So I see a lot of them with that certification, but there's no way that you can buy a helmet for 5,000 Jamaican dollars and get this certification on it. The helmet also has three intake vents or three ear vents. There's one right here and there's two up at the top here. You can open and close these two just like this. Press down, press down, open, open. The one that was right here, it went vertical. So you slide it down and down to fully open it. But I lost the thing that should have been right here. This helmet here, I've had for almost four years now. And without regrets, I love this helmet a lot. It's worth every dollar. And the next helmet that I'll be buying will be just as this one is. So this exact helmet here, it's no longer being sold. They've discontinued it and updated the model. So if you're searching for this helmet, you might not find it on the website that I purchased it from, which is revzilla.com. You may find it from a different website, but most other websites don't have this helmet being sold anymore. They have improved it and everything now is just better. So I've had this helmet for almost four years now. And typically you should change your helmet every three to five years, five years maximum. So I'm just about to change this helmet um, in the next year or so once I have enough cash. All right, so let's take a look inside the helmet. All right, so this is how inside the helmet looks. So it has a couple different liners inside of it. You have your cheek pads. This is one and this is the other one. It also has, um, they call it an emergency release. So what you do is to push your finger, let's say you get into a crash and they want to remove your helmet and your helmet is strapped on. The easiest way to remove the helmet is first to take the cheat pads out. So the paramedics would normally remove this. So they push their hand finger here and they just pop it right out and everything just comes off. And the same for the top part up here and it just comes out. My helmet unfortunately I've had this as I said for four years almost so the material is kind of fading off. So definitely time for an upgrade. Inside the helmet now we have up here at the top where your skull is. This is the inner liner. So this part protects the top part of your head. Additionally, what I bought for my helmet was a quick release buckle. So this buckle actually just plugs in like that and then you just press the side and it comes out just like that. So a lot of you may be wondering what is this quick release thing here or what does it do? Basically the helmet comes with this long strap here and a little buckle on it. Normally you have to push it through one of these loops and then you buckle it like that. So it would, it would go something like that. And for me it's a very tedious kind of process. I mean once you do it over and over you'll catch it but I bought this quick release here on Amazon for a couple dollars to simplify everything. The link that's in the description is actually an affiliate link so once you purchase this product or if you do purchase the product then I'll get a small commission you know just to help myself out. The helmet also comes with a chin guard it actually limits the amount of air that comes into the helmet. Coming back around the front here, the visor, which is this thing right here, it's a removable visor and it also has three locking positions. So typically to remove the visor, you have some little things right here, this. So once you click it, hear that sound, and you can pull the visor off just like that. And you can completely remove the visor, change it, and put in a different color visor. When I bought the helmet, it came with a clear visor. So this one here is the dark smoke visor. I bought this separately. So as I mentioned, the visor has three different locking positions. You have fully closed. Then there's an adjustable thing right here. 
and you can use and then you have like what quarter open this let some air inside the helmet without you lifting the visor up you have half open and then you know the rest so if you do like this it locks the visor so the visor does not open so this helmet has taken a lot of falls not really crashes or anything but um it has fallen off like walls and staircases and stuff like that so that's why it looks so beaten up you know so the helmet is pretty much well made um you know for airflow and also for protection so it's really lightweight once you put it on and ride around with it a couple times you won't even know that you have on the helmet the way it's light so as i mentioned if you can purchase a motorcycle for 200,000 Jamaican dollars let's say you must can invest in a helmet that costs as much because what the helmet it, it, it guards the, the most important part of your body right invest in a helmet you know take pride in the helmet spend your money buy a good helmet don't bother with the eight thousand dollar or five thousand dollar cheap helmet they have if you're gonna buy one of those helmets keep it for a couple months no more than a year you know i invest upgrade the thing <laughs>